morning, guys. Um, I just brush my teeth. I gotta, I gotta make me breakfast because I gotta, I gotta want to also wash these dishes. So, hope you guys are having a good morning. I, I'm having an alright morning. I slept so late last night. I slept like at two thirty. But how are we looking? How are we looking? His his little oh my goodness come on let me do it his, his under his his belly is like a little foot warmer this is so fun all right so I used to make a lot of oatmeal especially on on the bulk and I haven't used cinnamon because so I used to let's see this is this is like this is a nice meal that I had like probably three times a day at least because we had a lot of oatmeal we had like a tub like this. Maybe even bigger. And from from here to probably this tall of oatmeal. And it was it was like this wide. So I used to always make this. Put some cinnamon. Cinnamon always adds the touch to I I don't know. It's like you know have you guys had like apple cinnamon oatmeal? Like that was my favorite personally. Maybe and the brown sugar. Brown sugar oatmeal was good. By by Quaker. But I'm not gonna add brown sugar, but I could add What's it called? I could add peanut butter, but I'm pretty sure I shouldn't. This doesn't have that much fat. Cause I guess I'm gonna I'm gonna see how this this uh this responds to my body. But I guess you're not supposed to have like a lot of fats before you work out. So that's all carbs. This is barely fat. I don't know if I'm gonna use milk. We'll see. We'll see how much how the fat that has, but. I'll let y'all know, but we're gonna get like, we're gonna get a serving of this. So, this is a serving. We got, a, we got two servings of oatmeal, cinnamon. Uh, let's just get it started. I got also stevia, stevia. I like to add this to my, my oatmeal. We're just gonna add this right here. Actually, we should just add it in the water. Maybe add a little bit right here. Yeah, it's a lot. Am I blocking the camera? Yeah, I think I am. Sorry about that. <sighs> but basically right after this, I'm going to wash the dishes. Uh, I said I was going to cut the lawn. But we still might cut the lawn, but not right now. Wait for this to kick in. Wait for these carbs to kick in. I have a new pre-workout, which I'll show you guys right now. Like that. Put the peanut butter, the PB. Just so that's smelling, I don't think we were even gonna need any milk. So in a in a cutting phase, you want to make sure your food still tastes like reasonable. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna. I'm probably gonna add more water to this. Yeah, then the cut. You want to make sure your food tastes good. You just don't want to just taste like like garbage. Because although you're going for satiability, like being uh, satiated, you still want to go for what's it called? You know, flavor and all that. So just because you're cutting doesn't mean you gotta eat plain foods. So this is basically done. Most need out the pot. Uh, so let's see. Let me just add the calories up real quick. So 300, 360, 360, 360 calories. And then, you know, I'm probably gonna throw on a little drizzle of, where is it at? I'll throw, we'll throw on a little drizzle of sugar-free maple syrup. So a little drizzle. Cause who doesn't like syrup? There you go. I'm gonna mix it in a little bit. The, the calories from that is basically just nothing. It's two tablespoons for it. I just slobbered on myself. Two tablespoons for five calories. It's like, do I even got to count that? You could if you want to, but I'm just not going to. Look at that. Looks like breakfast to me.
Mm. That tastes exactly like the cinnamon apple, but no, obviously with no apple. Right, so this is gonna be the fit. You got sweats on, tank, shoes, and uh, here I'm gonna I'm gonna show you guys the pre workout I'm gonna make. We got this, which is I've never tried it. Jawbreakers flavor. I hope it's gonna be jawbreakers are are. No, I, I know what jawbreakers are. Never mind. Jawbreaker. This should hopefully this tastes pretty good. So, it's it's a stim. I guess it's. it's it's stimmy. But yeah, I mean, let me move this closer. Stims. Can this focus? There you go. And it has a, an amazing amount of L citrulline. Let's see. Let me see. Let's see. Can this focus? Eight grams of L citrulline for obviously I'm gonna taste two scoops. Come on now. Beta alanine's pretty it's sorry, it could have been more, but I don't, I don't mind. Just every crazy one such it doesn't matter if it's in your pre-work or not. I don't know what that is. I guess for the mind the mind. Muscle enhancement matrix, so it's probably just for pump. Uh this is all for focus right here. Uh and then this is gonna be your stem, so caffeine of course. Or this stuff, I'm saying theobromine, which is pretty good. And Yo Johanbein, which oh, hey, this is what made me feel like shit before I came over here to Texas. Then it shouldn't get me as hard because I took like I think I took like three scoops because like, me and my me and my boy before I left to uh, over here. It was it was like the the night before I left too. I, I saw him because uh, he works at at this little sandwich place, and I told him, "Yo." Since we didn't get to work out, like let's let's work out right now, cause like I'm gonna leave tomorrow, tomorrow morning. When we took a scoop of, I forgot which, which pre workout he had, took a scoop of that. We're chilling. We also bought like rice krispies, so we're we're good. We're good. We're, we're in for a very good workout. We hit like we hit basically like we didn't hit legs. We were <laughs> we were doing everything else like biceps, shoulders, chest, back. I don't think we did triceps. But I took like three scoops throughout the night. One scoop, and after like an hour, I was like, "All right, I'm I'm coming down already. Like I'm, I need more." Another scoop, and then same thing. Another scoop. I ended up throwing up uh, on the way back. Um, it was horrible. I, I threw up a lot, and I I came back. I just, my stomach kept on acting up. I kept on like feeling nauseous. And it it was, in the moment it was fun, but afterwards I barely got like an hour of sleep, and that morning I was still throwing up. <sighs> but I don't, did I even tell my grandma? Yeah, I think I told my grandma eventually. I just said yeah, I got it. yeah. I took some. I took some pre work. I wasn't too good. Well, I wasn't good, but it's just that I took too much. But let's try not to do that this time. Uh, it tastes, it smells like basically nothing. What do you guys think? You guys think it's going to taste good? Nah. I think I got these packets. I got these. Do not, do not eat. Well, the consistency looks pretty good for it to be like mixed well. So, let me get a cup. I don't know, should I do a cup or a bottle? Um, I'll, I'll do a bottle. Use, I got this for free, so I ain't even complaining about that. Let's see what I see. Hopefully it didn't say like shit, because if it does, the ingredients are amazing. Like, it's like this other little, I have this pump pre-workout, which I don't really use, because like, it's hard to get down. That's one. You know, I need to take a shit before this too, just because if I don't take a shit, I know that after this pre workout, I'm gonna need to go anyways. So, 
I think there's electrolytes, which I could add to my work, which I should. Maybe. Should I? I'll just scoop, I'll just scoop, I'll just scoop. I'll just scoop. Alright. I, I kind of want to taste it the... I like, taste it. I kind of want to taste the pre workout with the, without the... Let's, uh, let's, let's put some water in it to mix it up. Alright. Let's give this a taste test. I'm like so traumatized because like the last couple of pre workout pre pre workouts I got like maybe the last two tasted like shit, but this one I did have which is from I forgot which which exactly brand it was, but it was a watermelon flavor. Like that one actually tasted like pretty good. This one's alright though. Let's, let's test it. Mm. Yeah, it's it is a little sweet. But I could I could drink it. Okay, I'll be honest. Not the worst it tasted. But not the best. I gotta try it without the, the electrolytes. The easy, I think you can see I got, I got chills, right? But I got it down. It tastted like, it tastes really sweet. I'll, I'll be honest, like probably more of a hurry. And it could have been dead. Oh my goodness, you know what? I just forgot about that. It's been like, I'd say, Two weeks before I, I, don't, I maybe I took a pre workout once in those two weeks, but I've not been taking pre workout really re really recently. But I think like recently or re I just said recent recently, but very recently I've been finding myself not having. I say I don't have energy to do anything, but just after the like everything that I do, there's no energy at the end of the day to really pump out some sets but that's where i think the pre-workout is going to come helpful and once you take pre-workout like you don't have no choice to sit down and all that you do but like you're gonna be all itchy and stuff let's see how they look right now we still look pretty good even though we <laughs> yeah in a minute. i'm gonna do shoulders and I wanna do arms and shoulders, so it's gonna be biceps, triceps, shoulders. And this should be pretty good. I'm gonna start on biceps. I think I'm gonna do biceps, triceps. I'm gonna do biceps, tries. And then on the side, I'm gonna do shoulders. But yeah, let's get this started. Oh, 
That's pretty good. We can do one more set of this and we can get good chest we're going to. Alright. One thing also, I'm gonna try to stop doing. I love training to failure and all that, but there's just, I feel like, whoa, look at me. Right. I feel like it's just too much. I don't know how do I say it? It's too much damage. It's too much fatigue to actual gain ratio you know i'm saying i'm better off going three two reps in reserves maybe one than to go to failure each one so you see i stopped i probably could go like two more but you just stop and you could do one set of failure but just doing all my sets of failure is kind of too much even on biceps yeah let's get to it uh let's get to some shoulders pretty good Whew. my shoulders though if i could think of punishment and i'll go to failure on this but let's get back to biceps
to show this again. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's pretty good. Let's get some beer dust going. Oh. I'm sure he's looking right now. No, that looks good. <laughs> I'm gonna do a. That felt good. Oh my gosh. That burned. I want to burn. Oh, come on. Here we go. Oh, goodness. Ooh. Are they getting pumped? Yeah, yeah. All right, let's get uh, more biceps. All right, let's get rear dots. Oh my goodness. I guess. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. We're done. We are done. Check us out. Check it over here. See this is a side tricep. I think we can get better lighting. I don't think that's good. We'll park on side, let's go inside. Yeah, the typical lighting area right here. 
Uh, let's just check this out. <sighs> yeah, I'm about to pass the heck out. Here, here, let me, let me switch this up. Let me switch it. Is that good? <laughs> Do I got them Wesley Visser biceps? I don't... <laughs> oh my goodness, I almost passed out. <sighs> Ooh. Let me try back up a bicep. We need better light, and this shit fucking sucks. Like, that looks alright. The front of a bicep looks fine. But from the back, it's blocking the hell. So, hold up. What if we try right here? I know it's not the best lighting, but like... Look at that. That looks like shit. Let's see the back of a bicep. It's like two days afterwards. Today's gonna be legs. And you guys are barely, I'm barely shooting this uh, outro. So, hope you guys had a good day. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. And if your day's getting started, hope you're gonna have a good one. My day's going pretty good right now, and it's barely getting started. So, I'll let y'all get going. Um, we gotta, we still gotta get to 170. We're still at 180. So, I'll see you today, basically.